Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Hogan's Heroes. More specifically about that awesome and amazing Mercedes staff car that was used by Leon Askin, of course, playing General Burkhalter. Now, if you guys and gals want to win your very own Hogan's Heroes DVD set with all the episodes from season six, make sure to watch the entire video and I'll let you know how you can win your very own in this giveaway. There is no money that has to exchange hands, just my free way of giving something nice to one of you who supports me and makes this channel the great thing that it is today. Now recently while watching an episode of Hogan's Heroes, I've been watching a lot of it, I really was enamored by this vehicle. Now this is a Mercedes-Benz in case you don't know. It is codenamed the W31. If you don't know, Mercedes actually codenames all of their chassis, all of their car structures essentially with a W and then a number. And so this is W31 and that uh, whenever you type that in, this vehicle will pop up. It's a type G4 vehicle and a German one, of course, from the 1930s. It's a three axle off-road vehicle primarily used by, of course, Schickel Gruber himself, but of course by a lot of the staff and those in command during the Wehrmark in 1934. Now the vehicle itself was produced from 1934 to 1939. Now only a total of 57 were produced. Now if you know about vehicles and cars, you know that sometimes for the mass public you get hundreds of thousands of specific model that are created. Only 57 of these were made pretty much in Germany at the time. Now it's actually something that's pretty impressive that they were able to get one of these for the Hogan's Heroes TV show. It actually appeared in other shows created by Desilu, which is very interesting as well because of course it was on set, it was ready to use. Now this vehicle was an eight cylinder engine and as I mentioned, this is the upper echelons of the regime that would use this vehicle in parades and inspections and anytime you see Burkhalter making an entrance and appearance onto the show you do see him riding in this high and mighty of course emulating his own boss and looking pretty awesome himself. I just think it looks really awesome because you have the six wheels, you have the two other spare wheels right on the front fenders. It's a really cool looking car. As I mentioned it's an off-road vehicle going only about 42 miles an hour maximum but it could hold seven people in it and you wouldn't believe that to this very day there's only three that exist in original form now you may see others but they're of course in not original shape now let me tell you about um, all three of these the first car was used during the annexation of czechoslovakia and it's currently housed in the Sinsheim Auto and Technik Museum I have to make sure I get that right so in Germany you can see this today now it is in a restored state, but before this, it was actually converted into a fire engine, which is really interesting. Now the another one of these two was a gift from Schickel Gruber to General Franco from Spain. And you can actually check out this card today as well. It is a property of the Spanish royal family and is in its presence form. Again, it is in original shape. And lastly, guys and gals, the third one is the one that we see on Hogan's Heroes. It's very interesting to note that they were able to get it. It is in running condition. But my question is, guys and gals, where is it now? That's what I want to know. But I will tell you that there is one present currently in the Los Angeles area in Santa Rosa, California at the Lion Air Museum. Now this one was a personal vehicle of Schickel Gruber himself, so it probably wasn't the one that was used in Hogan Tears, but my question is, where is that one? So if anyone has any information in regards to the whereabouts, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to credit you and make an additional video talking about that, but I do wanna give you the information on how you can win this DVD set. And pretty much I've given so many of these away for many of the TV shows that I cover. All you have to do is be subscribed, which is absolutely free. Just hit that red subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, then you're one step closer to winning the giveaway. Next, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. In the comments down below, don't forget to leave any comments relating to video that you want. And the code word is staff car. So as long as you have staff car, in the comment, you will be eligible, of course. And lastly, leave me your contact information in the description below, not in the comments. I'll leave a link for you and you can fill out that so that when the person is chosen, I can mail it directly to you. We'll see you next time, guys and gals. Thank you so much for the support as always. And don't forget, be hopeful. Thank you to my Diamond Tier patrons, Andrew B, 
Ricky, and David D. And thank you to every single one of my Patreons where I have exclusive content. Be sure to look in the description below for merchandise, Patreon exclusive content, as well as playlists where you can find other TV shows and sitcoms that I think you'll enjoy. We'll see you all next time.